Good night. Apparently, I slept through the entire day. Okay, let's edit the vlog. Good morning, guys. Just a quick good morning because I have to go to work. Talk to you later. I forgot how to wake up. And this is already happening. Beautiful sunset, though. And what is that? <laughs> what is that doing there? What the hell? You always wanted a TARDIS in your room, but you don't have space because you need a bed. There's your solution. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Jay is arguing with the website, it's weird. Boogie. Boggy. Boogie. Boggy. Boogie. Boggy. I think Jay, Boogie. you're gonna Boggy. lose. Boggy. Oh, I just won. You did? Yeah, look at it. It's gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> just put food in there. Look at that. Everybody's excited. And the best part is the sleepers in the corner. As soon as they smell it, wait for it. There. See? He's like, <laughs> well, when the other one just started. <laughs> this is so funny. That's the best part about feeding the fish. <laughs> wow, uh, another week already over, kind of. I mean, it felt long, but now it's like, hey, it's weekend. And then it's like, oh, weekend is over already. Seriously, what are you guys up to? Leave it in the comments below because I have a baby shower to go to tomorrow. Sorry, I'm making noise. Wait for it. Done. So yeah, Monica's German baby shower is tomorrow and we will have another one from work, which is in two weeks. But it should be fun because I can take some photos tomorrow and we'll shoot a bit of video and get out to an area I haven't been to. Holy crap, driving is so different. I'm wearing my running shoes and I normally wear my chucks and with the chucks you have way more grip, no not grip, but you feel more. And it's so awkward. I mean, braking is not a problem. It's more the gas, the paddle. It feels completely weird now. I think I have to swap shoes. This is awkward. Now I'm joking. I already edited the vlog just now and it's actually already up. Luckily, it wasn't really like a lot of footage, so it made it a lot easier for me. Maybe I think it's okay to have some like less vlog intense days from time to time because it makes editing like a hell of a lot faster and way more fun to do if you don't have to wait for a long long time luckily my computer has been working pretty good so far it doesn't have the slowing down problem anymore lock it down wood let's keep it like that i'm so excited about the fiesta movement it feels like as if we're having the fiesta already because you and i were actually talking about hey we could do such and such and we could go there and we could do that and do you think we can make custom design stuff to the car and we haven't won it we don't have it we're like we are so excited because it opens up so many options and i think you already talked about it in yesterday's vlog it's not because we try to promote the whole thing or anything it's, it's seriously we're genuinely excited about the opportunities we, the car would give us and that is why we talk about it that's the only reason why we are talking about it because it opens up so many options and besides it actually has really good miles per gallon. It is so fascinating to me that even though we have the feeling that we don't have much footage, I mean, it is like around, like just around two gigs, which is, in my opinion, if we vlog alone, that's the average that we usually vlog. That's quite a lot. But if you do it yourself, we still have eight or nine minutes. I seriously wonder how it's it is pretty much impossible not to go over f like eight minutes easily if you just talk for for two minutes and the thing is we feel bad when we don't vlog enough because it is sort of our thing to do that right vloggers vlog it's not like we show five seconds of an entire week because it is already impossible not to vlog sometimes it's way more difficult to make a day look variated than just like blab out random stuff for five minutes long and call that a vlog I think that I do that a lot I, I mean I talk a lot I try to give some like interesting stuff to share rainbows see what you do with that 
I don't really watch much TV, so earlier I came home, I switched on the TV, walked over there, and all of a sudden someone started talking, and I'm like, who's the mouse? Oh my god. <laughs> it took seriously a minute or so until I realized it was t TV. Talking about TV, I'm watching Dinos Drive-Ins and Dive, Triple D. It's so awesome. He's constantly somewhere else eating awesome bar food or barbecue or whatever. But today there was actually a really cool business opportunity. It's a um, car wash with a laundry and a diner. They started off like a snack bar or something and got a grill and blah blah and at the end it's kind of a awesome diner and people just come there for food. I mean <laughs> without the food already, the idea, having a laundry and a car wash and a diner. Just imagine that, you're doing your laundry, your dude is washing the car and you can sit there and actually have some nice bar food. I think that's pretty awesome. It is time to go back in time, back to the 90s. One second. Boop. I've been showing you guys a lot of TV series, stuff like that from the 90s, early 2000s. This week I have a new one. I have not found it on Netflix yet because I haven't checked. But I uh, I used to read, surprisingly, yeah, I know, it's called Goosebumps. And I'm pretty sure a lot of, especially in, in the Netherlands, that the, it was pretty popular. But there was a TV series with it called Goosebumps. Of course, it's fairly obvious. And when I was growing up, those were pretty scary, to be honest. And I actually have uh, had, I think, like four or five books where I, I actually were, was scared reading them. Now, of course, it's all silly, and especially with the 90s effects and stuff like that, it's even even worse and uh, becoming silly and stuff like that. But if you have time, just go, go Goosebumps. I think there are four seasons. There are a lot of episodes. I think at least 74 or something. It's in the same category as Erie, Indiana that I showed you a while back on Netflix. I actually have followed that series on TV back when they were actually airing stuff in their original order. Last couple of times I have been to a shop or something, there was someone, either the girl at the checkout or someone ran up to me or... I don't know, it's just like guys and girls. They are not hitting on me, it's just like they come over like, Hey, can I say something? I really love your hair color. And then they go. It's not like they talk to me or want to hit on me or anything. It's just like they really like my hair color and they feel the urge to come over and tell me. <laughs> it is so weird, especially because I'm like, hmm, what should I do? But I mentioned that before in a different vlog, so I guess I can keep it for a while because people actually like it and I, I don't mind it. I, I actually like it. I'm just a person that kind of gets bored with one hairdo, I guess. But on the other hand, I have had this for a while now and I still like it, so I guess I'll keep it for a while. Dude, sweet! Mmm, oh my gosh. I haven't found this in America though. Like the cheesecake with this, like pre-packaged. If someone knows it, and it knows where to get it because it's from Dr. Utker, so I think he, yeah, I have seen it in, in um, places like, like Myers or um, Walmart. Please let me know in the comments because I love, and I mean I love cheesecake. Not the cheesecake factory cheesecake because that is a whole nother level of magic and unicorns and rainbows and, and, and things. <laughs> Just the simple plain cheesecake. And with an awesome saying I say goodnight to you guys. They don't know what the teaspoons are. No sense make English, but it's awesome. Use it, use it, and spread it. <laughs> Bye! If your OS needs to update every freaking time when you either close your computer or want to boot it up, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, this is the fifth update in a day. <sighs> I wanted to show you guys a game to battle boredom and a little bit of nostalgia. Who remembers Age of Empires, guys? Jesus Christ. It has been a while. I used to play it so much. I didn't understand half of it. Good night!